And finally tonight, after some tough losses, the Vols have an SEC win in what's been a bit of a roller coaster season. Yeah, Sean Franklin shows us reactions from Big Orange Country and what lies ahead. Nealon was loud this past Saturday. <laughs> As it should have been. Thank goodness they beat Mississippi State. The Vols got their roller coaster season back on track. At least you're coming back up the, the hill on the roller coaster instead of uh, holding on for dear life going down. The 2010 win over the Bulldogs stabilized the season for now. Fan Run Radio host Russell Smith has been along for the ride every day. <laughs> fan base is kind of conditioned, I think, to you're hoping for the best, but you're also prepared for the worst. There's also a mixture of feelings all over social media. There's positivity from fans like Big Orange Pruitt, who believes the Vols now have a good chance to beat South Carolina. Compare that to how C. Tilson felt during the Florida game when the Vols were down 17 to nothing. I'm not even sure the Vols are a team at all. I feel like I should have an amateur psychology degree because it's kind of like I've been a therapist for the past 10 years just talking people off the ledge. Smith says it's important to stay level-headed because social media doesn't always give a true sense of where the team is. There's been some gallows humor that's kind of taken over the Tennessee fan base the last 10 years or so. And when you're losing, that's all you can do is laugh at it and just try and remember have fun with it because that's what it's supposed to be is fun. Which is what you pay to get on a roller coaster for, right? If they could get to six wins in a bowl game this year, that would be a really nice end to what looked like a terrible season at the beginning. Sean Frank, 10 News. Again, he says the South Carolina game's winnable, and he expects the Vols to beat Vandy as well this year, so the possibilities abound. Yeah, we're going to stay optimistic. Exactly. All right.